While I was looking for caterpillars uh, on our plants, I found this uh, disease-infected monarch caterpillar, and this provides a very good opportunity to talk about a very uh, seldom used practice of IPM. Um, this caterpillar was infected with a fungal pathogen and I found it at the top of a plant. And what happens is as that caterpillar is approaching death, the pathogen actually affects its behavior and causes it to crawl up to an area up high on the plant where it'll attach and hang down. That way, uh, as that insect dies, it'll actually open up and the fungal spores of that disease are able to spread via the wind and gravity and fall down and infect other insects uh, like it. Now, while we hate to see this happen to a monarch caterpillar, we can actually take advantage of this as an IPM tool. It's one of the biological controls um, because it's biological because it's an active living agent used to control another one. So as you're scouting your gardens, if you have a particular pest, um, caterpillar pest, and you notice them crawling up, hanging from the top, and they look somewhat limp, they might be a little dark, uh, these are the infected caterpillars. What you could do is collect those and mush them up and mix them with water and actually come back and spray the remainder of the population of that pest that's not infected. Now it will have to be the same species um, because these pathogens tend to be very host specific. Um, of course it's a very opportunistic uh, approach but if you're an active scouter you will start to see some of these infected caterpillars in your garden and you might as well put them to work for you.